Hey everybody! Alright, so... <laughs> Gray and I are going to attempt to do a vlog, a family update. But Sophie's running around here somewhere, so we will see how this goes. Okay... Okay, so, we had a delightful Christmas. Um, I hope you all did too, or holiday, or whatever it is you, you celebrate. We had a great time. Um, we went to... Hi. Mommy. Hi. Is that a book? I know it's a book. We went to Oklahoma. That seems really random, like why would we go there, but we have family there. Don't. So we had a really good time. Um, <clears throat> we're also getting over being sick. Um, I actually finally went to the doctor. I don't go to the doctor a lot because most things that you get, it's just better to let your body fight it yourself and to not, you know, <laughs> pile on the antibiotics and so forth. Uh, and so I always let, try to let my system fight it itself and it usually works, I but touch don't touch it. It'll make a change. I <laughs> put Gray up so you guys can see him. Look at that baby. Um, look, Gray. Look. Gray, ready? Bubble here. My camera turn. Sorry. Not your camera turn. Yours next. You get to go next. Anyway, so, um, but I was like, okay, this is, like, bad. This is definitely something that merits a doctor's visit. So, <coughs> <coughs> so I went in, and it turns out, um, I did, I had an infection, um, and it was not a sinus infection, but it was, like, in my lymph nodes, and so that's why I wasn't getting better and running, like, fevers all the time, so, um, I got on some nursing safe medicine, medicine and um, dun, 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 by dun, dun, dun. it is so hard to vlog when you have kids. <laughs> My ears hurt so bad and the doctor said that they were on the verge of rupturing because there was so much fluid behind them and so anyway yeah so that was annoying but I didn't let it ruin my good times <sighs> and the kids um, you know the type of infection I had wasn't really contagious, and everything else I had, the sicknesses that... Hey, Sophie, can you take that music somewhere else? I can't hear. I can't hear. It's too loud. It's going to stop. It's going to stop in a second? Okay, just lay it on the counter. Anyway, the rest of the sickness and stuff, it's like, um, I'm pretty sure it hit the entire United States. So I don't know about the rest of the world, but everybody here got it. Thank you, honey. Thank you for listening. Um, finally. Uh, and so, it's like everybody had something. Look out the window. I see out the window. You look out the window. So anyway, but, um, Gray got sick too, but he didn't get sick as bad. Um, so don't touch it. I swear, you guys. It's not possible. Anyway, Sophie got sick too, and she had an ear infection before we left. And then, hey, Sophia, no fake whining. Two year olds are really good at fake whining. She just does this. She goes, Meh, if she's not getting in her way. <clears throat> it's hard with her because she's at that age where you need to kind of be firm, and they're old enough to start you know, kind of actually understanding <coughs> actions and, God bless you, being accountable for them. But sometimes, like, it's so funny that you just want to grin or smile, and you can't. You have to be like, oh, we don't do this, but you're just inside, you're like, because it's funny, you know, sometimes what they do. <laughs> <coughs> sometimes it's not funny, sometimes it's annoying, but <laughs> a lot of times it's really amusing. Well, anyway, um, but Gray got sick, too. Um, he's had a real runny nose and everything, but he didn't get as sick because um, since I am nursing, you know, he was protected by my antibodies and so forth. What? Really? Speaking of nursing, he's like, I could go for a bite to eat. Grayson thinks if he's sitting on Mommy that he can just nurse whenever he wants. Like, he... I should talk about this in my nursing update that I'm going to do in, like, a week when he turns six months, but... I'll mention it now, because <laughs> it's so funny. But if he were playing, it, Grayson would be happy if I just had, like, no shirt on, and he could just...
come over and get a little sip whenever he wanted. Like, use me like a sippy cup. It's hilarious. I'm like, really? <laughs> well, anyway, so that was that. That was the sickness. That took a long time to get out because I had kids everywhere. Um, the kids were so great. They were so great on the plane. Yes, they were. They were just amazing. They were just so amazing. Hi, Goody. Look. Look, Grayson. Look up there. Oh, who's that up in that camera? Look, it's so cute. It's a baby. Um, they were so good on the plane that people even complimented us. We were very fortunate. Um, yeah, this one fam this one couple gave us, they were complimenting us. Oh, <laughs> is that my baby kid? Oh, it's my kisses, you guys. I love those kisses. Um, they were complimenting us, and Kyle and I were like, thank you. But in our heads, we were kind of like, we were just lucky, though. <laughs> but anyway, they were really good. Sophie was so excited. We had her drinking juice and chewing on um, kind of like gummies. Um, to keep her ears popped, and I nursed Grayson on takeoff and on landing and whatever the heck else he wanted. So they never really seemed to have any ear trouble. Sophie sometimes was like this, like I could tell her ears were popping, and we would tell her, okay, swallow, you know, swallow yeah. your juice, or, you know, chew your thing, and it, I guess it worked, because she would do that and be fine, and so that was good. Um, it was really fun. It was just... You know, you think it would be stressful, but it just, I don't know if we just had a really good attitude about it or if we were just so mentally prepared, but it just really wasn't that stressful. Um, I don't know, it was just fun, so that was cool. And we rang in the new year with the kids. Um, Gray fell asleep, but Sophie was up. We put up, like, I put up, like, a short little, like, minute video right at midnight. Um, what are you doing? You are? Okay. And so, um, Grayson, look up. Look up in the sky. Um, oh, thank you for my kisses again. I love those kisses. I need to get this little boy a toy. <laughs> He's like, Mommy's my toy. My toy is Mommy. My toy is my Mommy. Daddy is my baby's my baby. Here, play with daddy's a &M towel. <laughs> Are you hungry? Do you want a nurse? Okay. Uh, apparently he, he wants to nurse, or at least he thinks he does. Uh, okay, um, let's see if we can do this while we're vlogging. <laughs> And so, anyway, um, that was all nice. New Year's was nice. We're in the New Year's with the kids. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Grace nursing now. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a good holiday. Um, oh, for this year, what does this year bring you all? Well, Kyle and I talk about the third kid. Um, definitely don't want to have the third kid now because I have my hands full with this baby. I do. But um, I was explaining to my family, I was just kind of like, I really want that third child, but I don't want a third baby at the moment. Um, and so we're just kind of, you know, but I don't want the... Uh, it's that annoying thing again where I don't, definitely not now, I mean Gray's only not even six months, but I don't want the kids, I don't, I don't want to do it yet, I'm like I'm not ready yet, but at the same time I do not want the children too far apart, I, I want my kids to be close together, I want to get past all the baby stuff together and get into kiddom, kiddom, I just made that word up, um, together and you know, I don't know, that's just kind of my, I talked about that before a long time ago when I did that vlog about family fever versus baby fever versus family fever. And we are definitely a couple that has family fever. You are. I don't know why my kids are so lazy, you guys. I'm up, I have my makeup done, I'm dressed, and my kids are running around in their pajamas without their hairbrush. You guys are so lazy. Don't. Uh, don't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so... We do talk about that, though, the timing. Um, we're taking Sophie to Disney World in October. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that so much. 
and gray may or may not go. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, it'll depend on um, if my parents go or not and if he's weaned or not by then. Oh, let's knock something off. Okay, don't think I'm crazy, but because I get really busy and it's hard for me to keep up with things Hello, now. Foot. Hello, Sophie. Um, I'm back. Yay. I have already started kind of mulling well, ideas over my I head for Gray's first birthday because I want it to be really special. I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle because right now a lot of things get lost in the shuffle. And that's okay because that's just life, but I don't want this to get lost in the shuffle. No, that birthday is too special. He is such a wiggly, wiggly, wiggly baby. He can't eat and not be still. He'll be moving so much and you'll think he's upset or something. But then you look down and his face is perfectly relaxed and serene and the rest of his body's like crazy, crazy, crazy. And then his face is like <laughs> just like that. <laughs> um so I've already started kind of going to my head about ideas for his birthday because if I start really early, <laughs> I should be able to do it and make it really special and neat. And so, yeah, that's fun too. It's fun to think about what are we going to do? You know, I don't know what he'll like by then. Um, so planning it this early, that's the downfall is that if I pick a theme, maybe he'll be into something else and I'll regret it. But then again... <coughs> Um, I, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. I could probably accurately guess some of the things he'll like. My phone is charging. You can have it later. Not right now. So I just play games on my iPhone. Oh, I gotta switch sides. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, and so otherwise... Oh, you know what, back to, I went off back to like the third kid thing, because you know there's stuff involved with that too, like we'll have to get a, be a bigger vehicle and all of that. I don't in the bed. I don't in the bed. Okay. And so, yeah, let's see what else. I think that's about it, you guys. That's all that's on my mind right now for the family. Um, Kyle still loves his job, I, and I love his job. I love, finally I got to meet over the holidays at Christmas parties and such. Got to meet all his co-workers and everything. I'm sorry I keep rocking you guys. It's hard not to. Um, and I just, oh, those people are fantastic. And their spouses were fantastic. And I can see why Kyle is just so happy there. Oh, um, we're still waiting on the one decal for his room. So I'm just going to do the nursery store anyway. I'm sick of it. Um, we never had, ever, ever had trouble ordering decals for Sophie's room. And the, all we ordered was the silhouette map. And this is the second time I've tried to order it from a different company and had trouble. The first time the company like closed up shop after having us wait for weeks on it. Um, and then I finally placed an order again. And they did say it could take several weeks, but it's been several weeks. So I'm just kind of like, at this point, I'm just annoyed. Um, I should I The thing is, too, I made the mistake. I ordered it from Etsy um, both times. But... I think maybe with decals, these people are just slow to print them. I don't know. I usually have really good luck, but not this time. So I'll just do the nursery tour without the decals because I know, I mean, it's been six months and I've never done a nursery tour. And the nursery is completely done. I mean, of course, I'll add things as he gets older, but it's done. It's literally, I've just been waiting for the decals because I thought I would, I just was, you know, wanted to do the room, you know, complete it as much as possible, but... I know, I'm tired of that. And also, um, I never did the double, we, okay, we actually did film the double stroller review, finally. The reason we didn't put it up is because we decided to wait. Ah. We decided to wait because right now we have the double stroller and we have it set up for one kid and one infant. And we wanted to, Kyle actually pointed this out and he's right. We wanted to do the review when we have it when we can add the um, second child chair so that we can do a complete review. Um, we can do a review of it in every way possible except for the the um, the little bed carrier thing bassinet basket thing because we didn't do that but anyway so I thought that was a good idea I told Kyle I was like that's better because then it'll be a complete review 
because uh, I know the reviews I've seen. Um, I saw one professional review of it where they had all the parts, but everybody else's review, it's always just been with not with all three of those aspects, not with two toddler or two child seats and a infant carry. It's always been either just the two toddler seats or the toddler seat and the infant carrier. So I want to review all of it. And um, Grace, getting old enough now, will probably order his toddler seat soon. I need to check the, um, I know the weight requirements he won't reach. Hello. Hello. Um, because it's higher weight limit because it's Brytex, but I need to check the height things for his infant carrier seat because I don't know <laughs> when he'll be growing out of that. Oh, I just had my birthday too, so thank you everybody for all your well wishes. It was a big birthday, a milestone birthday, so that's kind of crazy. I don't know. It was weird. Um... <laughs> I used to get upset because I would throw these, you know, I would try to throw these real well thought out plan parties for Kyle or whoever else if they wanted them. But and um, oh, Gray, really? He's turning his head completely, but like trying to keep eating. That hurts. That hurts. Mom, it don't hurt. <laughs> um, and. I would never get one in return. Like, no one would ever throw me anything in return. It would literally be the day of my birthday, and they'd be like, hey, where do you want to go? And I was like, really? Like, really? And I used to, it used to hurt my feelings. I was like, Kyle, like, why don't you ever try to do something special for my birthday? It doesn't have to be big. Like, you could, you know, make me pancakes or something. You know what I mean? But, I, or someone else, too. It's like, really? Like, but then I then I kind of got over that. I would feel sorry for myself, and then I stopped doing that. I realized, you know, it's it's not personal. It's just that I'm better at thinking of that kind of thing, and they're all not. Um, they're all not good at that. Like even my baby shower, I really wanted fancy, cute invitations, so I did them <laughs> because I, you know, they would have gotten me something really cute, but they would have just bought it, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but. I, I like that extra effort sometimes, you know? Because I think, you know, the, when you put in that time and effort, it's special and people really appreciate it. And it doesn't have anything to do with money or how much you spend or what you did. It's all like just the effort and the time and the thoughtfulness, right? And I think sometimes in my family, people fall short of that. <laughs> and then they always say, I didn't have time. And I'm like, okay, well, I have lots of kids and I make it happen. So, anyway. But on that same note, I don't let it bother me as much anymore, and I, um, so for my birthday this year, I told Kyle, I was like, okay, like, I was like, you're going to do the legwork, but I'll help plan it. <laughs> and I'm fine with that. Like, I'm excited. Um, anyway, so, because I still want to have a party, but we're not going to have it until the end of January, because my birthday is way too early in January, it's wet for Christmas, and I like to just wait. And so anyway, but, um, yeah, I'm going to make Kyle do all the legwork, but I'm going to help plan it. So... <laughs> Um, anyway, so that'll be fun. I'm excited. I'll just do something. It's my baby! <coughs> oh! <coughs> God bless you! So yeah, so that's, that's the happenings, you guys. Is it for now? <laughs> I don't know, things are good, like always. Things are good. Like, um, I'm very excited for this new year. I'm very excited about it. Because, like, who knows what it's going to bring, you know? Because last year, ugh, last year brought me this. He brought me this baby. Look at him. Look at that cute baby. Look Oh, you should do. All right, guys. On that note, where Sophie's breaking copyright rules from YouTube and playing things that I told her to not play in this room. I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye, everybody.